This is El Badi Palace, built in the 16th century. It's one of a number of important buildings here in the Medina, the walled city of Marrakesh in Morocco. As important and impressive as these buildings are, the main reason I'm in the country is 50 miles south from here. And that's here, the high Atlas Mountains, in particular the summit of Mount Tubkal. It's Saturday today, and on Tuesday morning, I'm hoping to reach the summit with the guide and a couple of other travellers. And it promises to be quite a spectacular hike on the way. So let's go see what it's like. It was 39 degrees Celsius when I left Marrakesh, which is too hot to be walking. Luckily, it's a little bit cooler here in the foothills of the High Atlas, about the mid-20s, which, with the strong sunshine, is still pretty warm for walking. It'll get cooler further up, possibly the single digits, uh, by the time we get to the summit. After an overnight stay in a small village, we headed out of the valley for our second mountain pass of the hike, this time at around 2,500 metres. So we've now reached the village of Aramut, uh, which is the usual starting point for most descents of Mount Tukal. So it's likely to be busier on the trail tomorrow as we head up to base camp to reach the summit the day after. It looks like the weather's going to continue to be good, so it could well be a hot climb again tomorrow. About halfway to the campsite, we stopped at a trailside cafe near to the shrine of Sidi Sham Harouche. This pre-Islamic shrine is still a pilgrimage destination for those seeking spiritual healing. For us, it was another chance for freshly squeezed orange juice. This is what they're calling, non-ironically, uh, base camp. It's actually only about a thousand metres from the summit and we're camping overnight here and uh, we'll be heading up towards the summit of that steep scree slope tomorrow. Starting at dawn, before the sun had crept over the mountain ridge, the final thousand metres of ascent from the camp to the summit was a steep one, averaging one in four, but with much deeper parts. Underfoot was mostly scree, admittedly easier going up than coming down later. Arriving at the 4167 metre or 13,671 feet summit, we approach the metal pyramid which acts as a trick point and summit marker. Mount Tukkal is the highest peak in the Atlas Mountains, in all of North Africa and the Arab world, and for at least 2,000 kilometres in all directions, the nearest higher ground being the southern part of the Mont Blanc Massif in Italy. There was haze and dust in the air on the day of our visit, limiting distant views of the Sahara. However, the views across the high Atlas were impressive and well worth the steep ascent and thin air. 